Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Blind Let's Play. In the last episode, we scaled the Rose Tower and fought a whole bunch of Macro Cosmos goons, and then we fought off against Chairman Secretary Oleana. And after doing that, we ended up getting Lee and having something to eat, and went home, well, went to sleep, rather, in preparations for our finals match against Leon, the unbeatable champion. I am incredibly excited to fight him. I don't know what his team's gonna be like. I don't know anything. The only thing I'm guessing is his Charizard and Score Bunny's final evolution, which should be one heck of a treat to see for the very first time. So, with that being said, let's enter the Winden Stadium and get our finals match underway. With one more team recap for those of you that have not seen the team, this is our final six of my very first playthrough of Sword and Shield ever. This is what I ended up assembling. I never mix types, and I never use anything that's an older Pokemon in my very first playthrough of the new games. So, with that being said, we have Evil Dave the Grim Snarl, Bulby the Mr. Rhyme, Project Nova the Dracovish, Patty the Toxtricity, Mind Shuffler the Rune. The, the Runer, I guess. That's so hard to say fast. And Molly the Rillaboom. So, with that being said, we're going to lead with Evil Dave and enter the Winden Stadium and get this final challenge underway. I'm so excited to fight Lee. You have no idea. All right, Chroma, what's up? Let's do this, Hop. You're going to see me fight your brother. This is it. Here at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're going to show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. So go get yourself checked in. Let's do this. I'm so excited. I really hope those Macro Cosmos guys don't, like, cock block me again. <laughs> I want to fight so bad. Yeah, he gave me a dream ball. Let's do it. Let's check in. Challenger Chroma, we've been waiting for you. Since you've won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals. What? I thought it was just me and Lee. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room? Uh, yeah. We're fighting the gym leaders again? Oh my god, that sounds insanely fun. That sounds so cool. What? I didn't realize that. I thought it was them semifinals and then whoever won that fights... Lee, oh, now we fight all the gym leaders because they get a chance to dethrone him. That makes sense. Oh my god, that sounds so cool. What is this? Authorized personnel. All right, Nessa, what's up? Long time no see. This will be a different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this was a serious battle. I'd say I aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike must reclaim their pride and to see them smile once again. I love that because I don't use Dynamax either. I'm going to win my way through every round, then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll have failed to repay Duraludon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. Oh my, God, my mask, it feels like it's going to fall off. I hate Alistair. I can't stand him. I think it's such a stupid gym leader concept. I like B so much better. I'll always press on and challenge myself so that I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. I won't be putting on a showy battle for the crowd. I'll show everyone what a severe battle truly is. I love Melanie. She's probably my favorite new gym leader. I like Rahan too, and Pierce. I like Nessa also. I love them all, honestly. Agent Zero over here is probably the weaker one, but he's the first gym leader. My first match is against Ryan, of all people. What rotten luck. But even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easily. Oh, man. Can I look at the bracket? No, it won't tell me. Let's do it the opening ceremony for the finals when you're ready please head into the pitch let's do it yeah let's i'm ready let's do this i'm ready as i will ever be we get to fight the chip leaders again four of them i'm guessing or three of them i'm guessing all right 280 enters the ring who are we fighting is it random i wonder i'll, I'll have no idea until later on but let's see 
Oh man, I'm excited. This is so cool. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galler. I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me stepping in. In order to lead you all to greater heights, it's Pokemon trainers of the Galler region. The time has come for you to battle it out until only the greatest challenger remains. So on half of the chairman, allow me to say, let the finals matches begin. Oh my god. I am ready to go. Wait, you. Bead? Right, where was Opal? <gasps> oh my god. Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Bead. The challenger was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bead, the, he's the only challenger endorsed by the chairman. I have a score to settle with challenger Chroma here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this gen battle. Well, this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events. Former challenger Bead has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with challenger Bead. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridic ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. I had to do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Oleana who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman. Then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy types. You have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink? Dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy types every day? And here I am pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bede's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Chroma? My will hasn't been broken yet. Final rival battle of our Pokemon Sword and Shield Let's Play versus rival and Pokemon Trainer Bead. In place of Opal, I'm guessing. Let's do this. Let's see what he's learned from the old lady herself. First up is Mawile. He's got a fairy type. All right, let's go for this, Evil Dave. So do I. All right, Mawile is a steel fairy type, and it's gonna be what level? We've faced too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. All right, Mawile's level 51, and it's gonna intimidate you right off the bat, which you don't like to see, but I don't really know what to do. I guess switch, maybe go for Fire Punch. It's a steel type. I always forget Evil Dave is weak to steel. He just does not look like it. All right, in that case then, Evil Dave, I need you to get back for later. You're gonna be a real great help down the line. I need your help, Mind Shuffler. Let's come out and face this Mawile with Earthquake. All right, Mawile is gonna use Play Rough. All right, yeah, that wouldn't have been super effective, but it would have done a lot of damage to Evil Dave. It even did a lot to Mind Shuffler. But by swapping abilities with Wandering Spirit, Intimidate's gonna enact on Mawile, lowering its attack one stage, which is gonna be a real great help if we don't outspeed here with Earthquake. And that's what I need you to do, Mind Shuffler. Take this crunch. The Intimidate's gonna help you do it. There you go. Mind Shuffler, Earthquake this thing. The defense drop's good to keep in mind. I probably won't leave him in after this, but we'll have to see what's coming out next. Because Mawile is done. All right, three Pokemon remains, Bead. I wonder if he still has his Psychic types. That would be interesting if he got rid of them because of Opal. All right, Volt B hit level 54. And next up is going to be Gardevoir. All right, he has a Psychic and a Fairy type. That's cool to see. I don't have a Steel type, but I do have a Poison type in Patty. But Patty's weak to Gardevoir. Um, that's tough. What do I want to do here, then? I'm gonna trust in Patty. Come on back, Mind Shuffler. I need your help, Patty. Let's do this. I hope you can outspeed this Guard of War. And if not, I hope you can take whatever it does throw your way. Because I could really use your help down the line in this fight. All right, Guard of War's next. It's level 51 and a Psychic Fairy type. And I'm sending out Patty for the Fairy part. But I hope Patty can deal with the Psychic part. There's only one way to find out. We do outspeed. Hit this thing with a Poison Jab, Patty. And it's enough to take out Gardevoir. Nice work, Patty. You love to see it. All right. What is coming out next? Next up is level Evil Dave hitting level 54 for one. And now he's got a Galarian Rapidash. I wonder if it's a Psychic Fairy type as well. I don't know for certain. And because of that, I'm going to let Evil Dave fight it. I'm guessing it probably evolved into Psychic Fairy, but it could be Fairy Flying, Psychic Flying. 
I don't know. They could be like a Pegasus type thing. We've never encountered one besides at a camp. So it's time to fight Rapidash. Type unknown. Level 52. And it looks really cool. I do like Galarian Rapidash quite a bit. And since I don't know, let's just hit it as hard as we can with a false surrender. It's going to hit us with a Dazzling Gleam, so I bet it is a Fairy type. Oh, Fairy is super effective against Evil Dave. That's right, I always I just forget. All right, that's fine. It didn't do over half, so we can stay in one more turn and false surrender one final time. And because of that not being super effective, I'm guessing it is a Psychic Fairy type Rapidash. Hit this thing with a false surrender, and that's it for Rapidash. All right, only one Pokemon remains, and I bet it's the Hat Pokemon, and it's Final Evolution. But you remember how I said I accidentally spoiled myself on uh, the final evolution of the pseudo-legendary? I saw the final evolution of the hat Pokemon as well on Twitter earlier. And I didn't know its name, though. And it's called Hatterene. All right. I'll stay in with Evil Dave. All right, Evil Dave. Hopefully you can outspeed this thing. What's that calm expression? You think you're going to win, Chroma? I know I'm going to win. You're very cornered. We got Hatterene. And it looks really, really cool. But is it a fairy type? We're about to find out. Gigantamax. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Hatterene is going to Gigantamax. And it looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Will you outspeed for me, Evil Dave? And at least deal a lot of damage for me before you go? <laughs> Please? Yeah, false surrender. It's not super effective. That's telling me it is a psychic fairy type. He learned this move from that old granny and plans on making it his own. Max G Smite. Yeah, Evil Dave is done. <laughs> Most certainly. We're only having 20 HP. Evil Dave, you've done wonderful though. I need somebody else to take this fight. Alright. Psychic Fairy. I don't have any steel type attacks, but we do have Mind Shuffler with Shadow Claw. But can Mind Shuffler take a shot from this thing? I don't know, but we'll have to find out. Let's do it, Mind Shuffler. Hopefully you can take a hit from this thing. And hit this thing as hard as you can with a Shadow Claw. We're faster? Good to see. Shadow Claw is going to clean it. And that's it for Hatterene. And that's it for Bead. Great work, Mind Shuffler. With a crit, too, thanks to the scope lens. All right. And that's it for Opal, Bead, whatever you want to call him. Nice work, team. Love to see it. Oh, yeah. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. So he was turned, kind of. I mean, psychic and fairy are very similar, so I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Bead was no match for Challenger Chroma and his trusted team. Hey, Bead, that was some match. Yeah, that was a pretty good match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But this isn't what I had planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. <laughs> you just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy-type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. Man, they're really setting up for the sequel. I see a Black and White 2 situation coming in. They're setting up for a sequel hard. We got a new professor in Professor Sonia. We got a new gym leader in Gym Leader Bead and Gym Leader Marnie, hopefully. They're really setting up for, for like, some really good sequels, and I cannot wait. Um, I don't know who's going to be next, but I'm going to guess it's going to be the Grass-type Gym Leader Milo. No, he lost to Rahan, most certainly. And we're not going to fight Rahan. We're probably going to fight... I think we're going to fight Nessa. That's my guess. And I'm ready to head out onto the pitch and fight her and find out. Let's do this. I am ready. Who is my first challenger in the finals? All right, 280 enters the ring. Let's fight another gym leader. Time for the waiting to end. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are Challenger Chroma, endorsed by the champion himself. And Nessa, I knew it. The Raging Wave. I called it. Let's go. All right. Nessa, it's good to see you again. Let's see what kind of water types she has now that she's not at Hullberry Stadium. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holberry Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. You know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. 
Oh my god, let's do it. Time for our rematch against Gym Leader Nessa here in Winden Stadium. Let's do this. All right, against number 49. She leads with Glycopod this time. That's really cool to see. Let's go, Patty. All right, Patty, clean her team and kick this into overdrive. All right, let's see. Sony might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Why would Sony be disappointed about you beating me? Does she like me? Did she talk about me? All right, Patty, overdrive. Kick it into gear. And that's it for Glycopod. Without a doubt in my mind. Oh my god, Patty is broken. So good. Insanely good. It reminds me of like Salazzle, and I used Salazzle in my first playthrough of Sun and Moon. Barrascuta's next. Let's do it. All right, next up, Barrascuta. A water type? I don't know what type Barrascuta is, but I'm guessing it's just a water type. Patty, keep kicking it into oh, what? Drill run, you're outspeeding me. Oh my god! Patty, kick it into overdrive! Holy crap, it outsped me! <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's it for Barracuda. Okay. I didn't expect anything to outspeed Patty. Next up is Sea King. Okay, that's not gonna outspeed me. But Sea King's a water type, level 52. Patty, I could say it all day. It's so entertaining to say. Say it with me, everybody! Patty, kick it into overdrive! And that's it for Sea King! What if it had Lightning Rod? <laughs> it so could have had Lightning Rod. That would have been funny. I would have laughed, personally. All right, Patty, look at level 56. Next up is Pelipper. Bruh! I hate Pelipper. So you know what, Patty? I want you to smite this water bird with so much electricity. Actually, Drizzle's not great. That's bad for her ace, but... I want you to kick it into overdrive so bad that this Pelipper dies. <laughs> no, don't kill it. That's not nice. Patty, overdrive! Oh, she's so good, Vanessa. Dude, oh my god. Can Patty one-shot her ace? What is her ace? Is it still Dreadnought? <laughs> Weak Pokemon. Beginner route Pokemon. Loser Dreadnought. Let's do it, Patty! Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last! All right, Dreadnought is next. It's a Water Rock type, level 53. And Patty, I don't care if it Gigantamaxes, Dynamaxes, or Fantastamaxes, you're gonna overdrive so much that this Dreadnought is the one that floods the stadium with its blood! <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's a bit too much. I'm getting carried away. Patty's fun. I'm so sad that I even considered putting Patty in the PC. Gigantamax, you Dynamax, you Fantastamax. I don't care. What's gonna happen is this big Dreadnought's gonna get big and then fall even harder because Patty is gonna kick it into overdrive. See you later, Nessa. Oh, that was too satisfying. I have never been that satisfied. That was really good. I need to cool down after that one. Oh. You get to rematch the gym leaders. This is the best I've ever had. This is very nice. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder. No wonder that you won. Yeah, Nessa. Dude, I love Nessa. The gym leaders in this game are so good. This game is fantastic for what it is. Like, lacking in story slightly, but pretty great. Really solid Pokemon experience, definitely. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and has now pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing she was. <laughs> I wish I made more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Gallery's got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. Oh my god. There's a tournament bracket. That's sick. Oh, Melanie lost! No, I want to fight Melanie again! That sucks. Aw, okay. I guess our next opponent is going to be Alistair. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's fight. <laughs> let's fight Alistair. All right, let's put Evil Dave up front. Cream them ghost types. Yeah. Let's just jump right into our next match. Out on the pitch. Let's do. I don't like Alistair, so I really want to make him hurt, you know? 
280 enters the ring again. Hold up. Let's do a dance. Let's do this. I am so excited. I just can't see. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the final match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Champions Cup as the former challenger Bede stormed the stage. But Chroma was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. And now to take him on, here comes gym leader Alistair, the boy known far and wide as the silent school-age star. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm Alistair. You look well. I remember you. You were the strongest gym challenger I had. Or so I reckon we should battle. Time for our rematch versus gym leader Alistair, the ghost type gym leader here in Winden Stadium in the finals. Let's do this. All right. First up is Dusk Noir against number 291. Not much far from 280, but 280 is way better than 291. All right. Dusk Noir is first. It's a ghost type, and it's going to go ahead and be whatever level it is. Everyone's looking. I want to hide. I know the feeling, Alistair. Level 52, Dusk Noir. Let's do this, Evil Dave. I'm I'm gonna surrender. You know what, Alistair? You deserve to win. Just the king! You did! <laughs> First surrender. Dusk Noir lived. Rock to him. Why you have rock to him? That's such a weird attack, bud. He's lowering my speed. He's actually a boy genius. You know, like Jimmy Neutron. Sup, sup, clap, clap, clap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, what? A full restore? Hopefully I get a damage range right here. I don't use items. That's baby shit. Come on. Evil Dave, false surrender. Give it up. Just a joke. All right, he lived. That's sick. Well, I should have. I was going to say I should have power up punched to stop myself. Were we speed tied? Bruh, you just lost out to a speed die. You should have thought about that. And now you crit, Evil Dave. Whatever. Dust North stunned. He's got four Pokemon remaining. Show me a ghost type I've not seen yet. What if he has a Runerigus? Impossible. Bulby and Evil Dave hit level 55. You'd love to see it. Next up is Chandelure. Woo! Yeah, they're really slow. So Evil Dave can just go one buff, you done. I mean, wait. Our speed was lower. His plan worked. His plan has worked. I've been foiled. Whatever. Burn my Evil Dave. I don't care. Evil Dave doesn't need his attack stat. He's too good at the game. He'll get a critical hit. False surrender. How you like them apples, Alistair? You did over half even while I'm burned. And you're not going to be able to one-shot me here. Mystical fire. We can take that. Are you kidding me? Evil Dave. What? Is that special attack? Yeah. All right. False surrender. See you later, Chandelure. You know, I might need Evil Dave for his ace. I got a little carried away. <laughs> but Evil Dave's already out of commission and crippled, so we need to not worry about that. Molly hit 59, and we got 55 for somebody else. I think it was Project Nova. <laughs> All right, Pulte guys. Um, well, okay, let's do that with Patty. Why not? Patty's got punk rock. She can snarl her way to victory. Let's do this, Patty. You just had a great fight against Nessa. Have an even better one here against Alistair. All right, next up is Poltegeist. It's a ghost type, level 53. And you are going to get blasted with a snarl. Let's look at Poltegeist and go... <laughs> I'll never do it again, I promise. All right, that's a sound attack, I'm guessing. But it still didn't one-shot. But we lowered its special attack, which is great to see. Which is going to weaken this Shadow Ball. And then Patty can snarl again. You love to see it. Patty, snarl! Yes! What? It's protecting itself. It's wasting my turn. <laughs> Not that it matters, because I'm going to outspeed the next turn. You know what? Just so I can say it, Patty, kick it into overdrive! You're done! <laughs> if it doesn't knock it out, I'd be sad. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Just so I could say it. It's entertainment at its finest, okay? Next up is Cursula. Okay, that's just a ghost type. Let's stay in. And you know what? We're going to do the same strategy I just did. Cursula's a ghost type. And you're going to get Snarl on. Patty, Snarl! We get its special attack. Ooh, that didn't even do half. That's kind of concerning. Strength sap. Oh. That's not good. Um, 
that's pretty bad. Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, we're not using attack, I suppose. So, kick it into overdrive! Yeah, that does it more than Snarl. I thought it would. Oh my goodness, Amnesia? That's not good. <laughs> um, well, Patty, you need to crit. Okay, please. Overdrive! Yeah, there you go, Patty. You didn't need the crit. See you later, curse of love. And Patty, it's level 57. Yeah, yeah. All right, next up is his ace. It is Gengar. What do we want to do here? We need to hit it hard with a physical attack. Evil Dave is in trouble. So I say, this is time for the Mind Shuffler to come out. Get back, Patty. Mind Shuffler, this is your time to strike. All right, his ace is Gengar. It's a poison ghost type. And his very last Pokemon. How lonely, how frightening. It's Gengar, level 54. All right, and you know this thing's gonna Gigantamax. And Mind Shuffler, I need you to outspeed. Unlikely, it's a Gengar. And it's gonna swallow everything in darkness. But if you hit through with Shadow Claw, this thing is one and done. Especially if you can crit for me, which you seem to be pretty good at doing. So let's see how this unfolds. I love Gengar's Gigantamax, it looks so cool. I wonder if it's white when it's shiny or if it always looks like that. Like it doesn't change when it's shiny. Either way, come on. G-Max Terror, it's like Shadow Tag. I won't get away. Uh-oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it's gonna lock me in if it doesn't one-shot me, which it very much did. Um, okay, things are turning around poorly for me right now. Um, Patty? <laughs> Patty's like, I'm coming back out again. Okay, Patty. I want to lower its special attack, so I know Snarl will do less damage, but this will lower its special attack. Patty Snarl! All right, it's going to do super effective damage. Nice amount. Lower its special attack. Maybe allow Patty to survive this hit, and then we can use Overdrive and finish off the fight. Patty did not survive the hit. This is not looking good. Oh, it crit me? That's real cute, Alistair. I know, it's all fun in games when I crit, but when he does it, it's not funny, huh? All right, Bulby? Yeah, Bulby's super effective. I forgot it's a poison type. Come on in here, Bulby. You need to do a good old slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. Psych, psych, kick. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Bulby. Psychic this, Gengar. It's faster. We are in big trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, Bulby, thank you for living. That snarl really helped. It's gonna trap me into the fight. That doesn't matter. Because Bulby's gonna finish it off right now with Psychic. That's it for Alistair. There you go, Bulby. You love to see it. Bulby's too good at the game. Victory is ours. That's it for Alistair. Oh, yes. All right. I wonder who we're gonna fight next. It's probably Rahan. There's no way Piers beat Rahan. There's no way. Like, it would be cool to fight the Dark Gym Leader again, but I'd rather fight Ryan because he could have Dreepy's evolution. Go, ooh, that sounds awesome. I'm so excited. Crumbs, that was ace. Give it your best out there. I'm mad about strong trainers. Is that, like, a good... <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. Rahan won. Yeah, it's going to be me versus Rahan once again. I am so ready. Contender Ryan gloriously defeated Contender Piers. All right, I am ready for Ryan once again. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Oh, Marnie's here. What's up, Marnie? Sorry, Chroma. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Ryan. You look so sloppy out there because people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Ryan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax could be. All right, I get it. That's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Chrome. I got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Ryan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward for a right good battle. All right. I am super excited for this. Rahan and Leon are final two matches of the Pokemon League here in Winden. But of course, I'm going to be doing those in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed these finals matches. Definitely not what I was expecting, getting to fight gym leaders again, but and bead 
But I'm really happy we did because this is really fun and I'm glad to have these awesome matches before the end. I think it makes us just that much more worthy to take that champion spot. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a like is so much appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon videos like this and haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads for this series and the channel as a whole. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time when we face off against Rahan in our final match before Leon. With that being said, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching.